Good evening, Council and uh, audience. Todd Osborne, 1100 Sunrise Drive. Let's talk about... I'm sorry. Some of your information, people, is so incorrect. Look it up. It's just unbelievable. While the Ohio Revised Code details the annexation process, Loveland has its own code for after annexation. The current annexation is with one owner. Not trees, it's with grail. And when it gets annexed, it comes into the city at zero tax. While there have been misleading statements made at recent meetings like tonight, section 1123.07 specifies how that annexed property will exist in this city, zoning wise. And in that can be a special planning district. But that all has to go to planning and zoning before it comes to council. And when it's annexed by the county, or if they approve it, these people up here have to still approve it by ordinance. Since 2000, year 2000, there have been 15 annexations. Nobody's been here to complain about traffic or whatnot. If you want to be concerned about traffic, look beyond the railroad tracks at O'Bannon, where there will be at least one multifamily apartment complex going in because the property has changed recently. So check that out. That traffic will affect here. We have nothing to do with that because that's in a different jurisdiction. Once the property is annexed into the city, then the city has the right to control what goes on that property. I commend the city for the parking lot, the parking, excuse me, the downtown parking infrastructure project. It's not just the parking lot. Railroad gets changed. A whole bunch of other things get changed. And the city's not, the city taxpayers are not paying $5 million. As I understand it, a lot of the funds are coming from outside the city. So, we're not going to be paying as much as five million, ten million, or what. Lastly, Mr. Butler, you are one of seven individual voices. It takes four votes to pass legislation. It takes building cons uh, consensus. It also takes communication between council members and city administration. And that means beyond these four walls. Unfortunately, you've not done much of that. The voters deserve better. I wish you well in your future endeavors, and I support Art Ori Phelps. And I thank Council and the Mayor for the uh, celebration last week, thanking all the community. It was well done. Thank you.